Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today's video is about Femoral Artery Doppler Ultrasound. These are transverse views showing normal common femoral artery with femoral vein here and superficial and deep femoral arteries over here. Color Doppler is applied. The arteries will be seen pulsating. Here is a longitudinal view showing normal femoral artery. We see no obstruction in the artery. This is the normal spectral waveform of femoral artery. It is a triphasic high resistant flow. We see a sharp systolic peak with some flow reversal in early diastole and forward flow in late diastole. The peak systolic velocity can be around 60 cm per second. Monophasic flow may occur after exercise. The waveform will only show forward flow. This is normal. After resting, it will eventually return to normal triphasic waveform. Femoral artery stenosis is the abnormal narrowing of the artery. Its main cause is atherosclerosis. There are various degrees of stenosis. In this case, there is less than 50% stenosis of the artery. You can see some narrowing of the artery. The spectral Doppler waveform looks almost normal. But we see that it is a biphasic flow instead of triphasic. No forward flow in diastole is seen. Also, the peak systolic velocity is increased. It is more than 80 cm per second here. In this image, power Doppler is applied. We can see the lumen of the artery is filled with a plaque of medium echogenicity. The lumen of the artery is narrowed. In this case, we see severe stenosis of superficial femoral artery. Turbulent flow is noted at the site of stenosis. We can see mixing of colors here. The PSV is very high. It has crossed 400 centimeters per second. It is much higher than a normal PSV, which would be approximately 60 centimeters per second. So this indicates severe stenosis. A monophasic waveform is seen here. We only see a systolic peak. This waveform does not return to normal triphasic waveform in case of stenosis. Whenever there is turbulent flow, spectral broadening will be seen and is indicative of stenosis. You can see this waveform is much wider than the normal waveform and it is biphasic. This flow is seen below the baseline because of the position of the probe is such that blood is flowing away from the probe. That is why it is blue in color but it is actually femoral artery, just like in this normal image. A tardus parvus waveform will be seen downstream from the site of stenosis for a narrowing of more than 50% of the lumen. A tardus parvus waveform has slow upstroke and rounding of systolic peak. We see a blunt systolic peak. Downstream means flow after the stenosis further down in the artery. For stenosis less than 50%, no tardus parvus waveform will be seen downstream. That waveform will be normal. Criteria for stenosis greater than 70% is a combination of PSV of more than 200 centimeters per second and peak velocity ratio greater than 2. Peak velocity ratio is a ratio between PSV downstream 
and PSV at 2 cm upstream from the site of stenosis. 2 cm upstream means 2 cm before the stenosis. So for example, in this case, if we take a downstream PSV of 200 and divide it by upstream velocity of 60, for example, so 200 divided by 60 gives 3.3. So peak velocity ratio is 3.3, which is greater than 2. So the stenosis is greater than 70%. In femoral artery occlusion, the lumen is completely obstructed with a thrombus of medium echogenicity. Blood flow is obstructed, that's why we do not see any flow within the artery. No Doppler signal is found. In chronic cases of occlusion, we will see collateral vessels around the occluded area. You can see these collaterals have formed and this is the occluded area. This is indicative of chronic occlusion. Femoral artery pseudoaneurysm can occur due to arterial wall injury. Blood gets accumulated between tunica media and tunica adventitia layer of the artery. In simple words, Blood gets collected between the middle and outer layer of the artery due to injury. This is the artery and this is the pseudoaneurysmal sac and it is connected by a neck. On color Doppler, we will see this type of color pattern. Red color on one side and blue color on the other side. This is called yin yang pattern. This is a specific color pattern for pseudoaneurysm. On spectral Doppler, we will see a high velocity to and fro waveform in the artery. This is how the waveform will look like. We see high velocity exceeding 120 centimeters per second. An arteriovenous fistula is an abnormal direct connection between femoral artery and femoral vein. In transverse view, with color Doppler applied, we can see this connection between the femoral artery and vein with color mixing in both the vessels. Here is an arteriovenous fistula in longitudinal view. This is the connection between the artery and vein. We see turbulent flow with spectral broadening. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.